In March 2015, a major fire tore through Battersea Arts Centre, causing devastating damage to the Grade 2 listed building. But the blaze did nothing to destroy the creativity or community spirit that has served the South West London venue so well. Before the fire, work had been underway to improve the building for its community. Despite that devastating event, work has been ongoing. The latest phase being the launch of this intimate space, the courtyard, hailed as the smallest open-air theatre in London. Little Bulb Theatre are the first company to perform in the new space, presenting a musical melodrama set in Victorian London called Extravaganza Macabre. And what's it like as a performance space? We've got this huge vertical space to play with, which is sort of doesn't exist anywhere else. I've never seen it exist anywhere else. So it's got all the, the magic of a big grand theatre, but with all the intimacy of like a cosy... Uh, cozy theatre as well. Oh, but there is a key, sweetheart. As well as the courtyard, bedrooms to host visiting artists have also been completed. And with work on the Grand Hall about to start, there are more exciting developments to come. This space itself will become a really flexible space in which you can have performances with people seated up to 600 people. We'll be able to have gigs in here, which we haven't had for many, many years, uh, with up to a thousand people. People will get married in here, there'll be community meetings in here, political meetings, hustings, all the things that I think, uh, you know, the hybrid cross between a town hall and an art space should be. So it will give us a lot more flexibility. Extravaganza Macabre runs until the end of August, while the big production that is complete in the Great Hall should end in 2018. Brenda Imanis, BBC London News.